archipelago fuck yourself. Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. Not my favorite Metal Gear Solid, but I haven't streamed this. Two years ago or so, I streamed the original, which is best. But this is Twin Snakes, which is cool in some ways, and also really silly in other ways. I think we'll have fun laughing at some of the cutscenes. I was in the mood, I don't know why, Metal Gear Solid just popped into my mind. I was like, this isn't a very long game. And I, I do have a lot of nostalgia for um, Metal Gear Solid. Even Twin Snakes, in its own shitty kind of way. Not a bad game, but music isn't as good. The cutscenes are Matrix, for some reason. And they redid every voice line. But I think, um, I think this is one of the few Metal Gear Solid games of the classics that I haven't streamed, which is just a remake of the first the one on the GameCube. The disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by Next Generation Special Forces being led by members of Foxhound. Look at those graphics. GameCube people. They are demanding people. that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. A nuclear weapon? <laughs> No, I'm going to play through the whole game. This isn't a you long have game. two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of ArmsTech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. There's What's Naomi. The we'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then... We'll launch a one-man SDV. I, uh, I, Snake Pliskin? Is that you? Uh, this is widescreen. It's going to be a little crusty. We're going to get some wide snakes, but it After mostly SDV, works well, from what I understand. As it can. Dispose of it. <clears throat> they on. You'll have to swim. High-tech special forces unit Foxhound. Your former unit. And one that I was the commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mantis. Psycho Mantis. Psychic abilities. Sniper, Sniper Wolf, Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy, Decoy Octocock, master of disguise. Vulcan oh, Raven, Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, special in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound Squad Leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid, Liquid Snake. This is made um, by the people who made Eternal Darkness, which is weird to me. Disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As always, this is a one man sneaking mission. Weapons and equipment OSP. Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Yeah, well, there you go. Uh, so, if anyone's wondering why I'm playing this instead of the original, the original is a playthrough I did two years ago that's on the Full Sauce channel, you can look it up. This is just purely for completion of the Metal Gear Solid franchise, and for fun. You'll notice that the cutscenes are just so extra. And, um... It's just 
pointless in some spots, but also really, um, really funny. I think it's actually a really funny series of cutscenes, but it's still pretty good. Blood on, subtitles on. You, again, this is the widescreen version, so it's going to look a little uh, chungy at times, but it's still going to look good. Like, it's in 720p. Um, it's it's going to be good. I'm using a GameCube controller, by the way, for this. Question is, do I want to do hard mode? Because the first person shooting makes it a little easier. Is hard mode too hard? Anyone know? Very easy. Uh, <laughs> European extreme. For you, yes. Um. The question is, are you playing Metal Gear Solid for the gameplay or the memes? I'm playing it for the memes. Hmm. You can always change it later. Hard mode's okay, there's more difficulties to unlock. Let's try it, let's try I know the game pretty well, you're right. That's right, chat, that's right. And yeah, I remember this game being really easy because it's Metal Gear Solid 1 with all the Metal Gear Solid 2 enhancements. And uh, first person aiming trivializes so much of it. But chat, be aware that this came out after Metal Gear Solid 2 and the Matrix movie. Which, uh, you'll see... Like that, for example. <laughs> Get ready for it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I keep saying the word fun, you might not have any fun, you might be miserable watching this. But... Like, they went... Well overboard with some of these cutscenes. Um, by the way... I didn't even see... An option for twin snakes on Twitch. Stay I looked alert. for it. He'll be through here. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. Yep, there he is. Every voice line has been redone. Which I don't like as much. I think it's higher quality sounding. But, um, they had all the actors come back and redo all the voices over. But at the very least, consider it like an alternate version of the original, and you'll probably enjoy it. This does not replace the original for me, uh, just so you know. I, Metal Gear Solid, the original, is like one of my favorite games ever. This I consider like bizarro B-movie alternate reality version. Also, if you've never seen a Metal Gear Solid game, if you've never played one, it's like 10 hours worth. You might like this. I think it's it's still... You'll get an idea of why these games are the way they are. Uh, this is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Where's... I thought Wide Snake clear. we were going to get. What's the situation, Snake? Huh. Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. It's a little wide. If you need to, contact me by codec. Thanks, Nary, for helping me out with this, by the way. When you want to use the codec, push the pause button and then the A button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When beep. you hear that noise, press the pause button and then the A button to receive the call. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. Small bones. No one but you will be no. able to hear it. Got They're it. not small, Colonel. Okay. No. No. Alright, I'll try not to do that horrendous voice. Also, I will be streaming Body Harvest again uh, tonight, which I determined that I, I had a good time with the playthrough that I did, um, and I'm gonna see if I still enjoy it. 
But uh, apparently the vehicles are not supposed to turn so crustily. And someone recommended an N64 controller using an adapter. Which I do have, but I don't know where my N64 controllers are. So, I'm gonna probably just lower the dead zone on my controller. Well, you can't tell by the way I get my walk, I'm a woman snake. No time to talk. <sighs> Walking with purpose. Now I have to see how to play this game. So there's the first person mode. Right? You got the mask on. There's that. Everything's pretty pretty uh good here. Right. Vinny, you will not be able to stop yourself from doing a, a shitty snake no matter how hard you try. I'm going to try a little bit. little bit. Who's that? Oh, God, already? No, 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 no. You know, see, now they can call each other on the radio. Which means... You don't immediately get caught. I forgot how to, like... Chat, you know what I forgot how to do? I forgot how to choke. Actually, first person. You can first person punch. That's not a good idea, though. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. No, 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 no. No need to respond. Chat. How do you choke? How do you choke? Oh, fuck. Um, hold. Hold. Punch. Nothing. Nothing's going on. Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. Who's there? Hold the weapon button with no weapon. Oh. Who's that? Oh! He, he dodged! He dodged! Here's that wonderful inferior music throughout the whole game. We're not going to get that classic soundtrack. Oh man, they dodge. They dodge. I didn't choke them, I just choked. All right, one death. One death. It won't go beyond that. Chat, once I get a gun, it's all over for them. Why are we using the shitty soundtrack exactly, says a chat member. Th this is the soundtrack in the game. They redid the soundtrack. There's no way to choose the original. Mod it? Oh, oh, no one's here. No one's here. It's the enemy. I need help. 
Oh, no one's here. No one's here. No one's here. Nice tactical dodge. Two deaths. Vinny, I think the uninstall wizard would be more your speed. Who is the uninstall wizard, though? I've been looking for that dude for years. Is there somebody there? No, Chad, I, I got this. Let me adapt to the game first, you know what I mean? Like, I have to learn again. So here's this dude with his big baggy pants. What the fuck? <laughs> no one's here. Stop. No. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, so this is a stealth game? Yeah, no, this is a test stream. This is- I'm just testing out the gameplay mechanics, and, uh, then I'll be- I'll be good. I found out how to choke out enemies, too. You just have to press the A button when you get close to them. But don't move the stick. on enemy approach. All other rumbles will be off. I've never used this. Who's there? No. No one. You won't. No, you won't. You don't see me. It's the enemy. I need help. Again, again. Over there.
No, chat, it's fine. I'm telling you, I got this. I know how to play this game. Hard mode is, is a good choice. There was no intruder. Oh no, now is not a good time for this cutscene. Now is a bad time for this cutscene. Dude just teleported behind me and didn't see me. I like the little rat up there. Sometimes you have to shake their body a couple times to get the item. Sometimes there is no item. When you kill them, there's less items. Someone said there's a gun in one of the lockers. Is it gone now? Is that real? <laughs> On easier modes. Nauseating. All right. Um. Yeah, we're done here. I think we're good. That was a good display of of uh, stealth prowess. Let me get a dramatic zoom. Yeah, music. Music dates the game like immediately. Master Matrix. And also, we get Snake clean shaven. Rem reminder that the cutscenes were going to be much closer to the original, but Kojima said no? Is that true? Kojima said no? It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Facility? It's been a long time. See, I'm doing it. I guess you're feeling a little rusty. Don't worry. It's been a while, but it's all coming back to me. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. I've been Bear shot 14 it. times. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. 
Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. A Hind D. Classic line. Arnold, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I've corrupted this moment I have no dozens idea, of times. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Also, Snake is a bit raspier this time around than the original. David Hayter was still learning how to do the Snake voice, and he was less whiskied. And then, but you know, after MGS2, he kind of leans into the a little bit. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. This is still good. Though. I don't think this is over the top Snake. This isn't Peace Walker Snake. This is like a good balance of. Um, Gruff and regular there snake. Are only 18 hours left until Colonel, this is regular you snake. To hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly hind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec. Apparently the accent Peloton radar system. Contact her if wasn't you have any very questions accurate. about either of them. Because she grew up nice speaking you, English, it's according to chat to members. Like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so cute. cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. What's this? I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake? But... I'm surprised. I... I didn't think you'd be so frank. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. It does, doesn't it? Well, let's get to know each other better. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies. I don't know if I Metal Gear Solid. You saw me. Their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure Jeed, you don't Jeed let therapy. them see you. First, Jeed. I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and gonna... look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance. Yes. So we'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake. We're here to back Who's you seriously up. Snake? If you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission. Which data. one is that? Contact me if you want me to save your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here. And then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. Mm, I'll hold you to that, Doctor. <laughs> By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. <sighs> How did you do that? In my stomach. The voice acting. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. I... <sighs> But yeah, uh, uh, according to her background, this accent from Mei Ling is a, a lot in, there's more the accurate. Door. It's the fastest way. And in Metal Gear Solid 4, she sounded like this enemy. as well. Yeah, I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. What about the air duct near the door? Mm, one sentry on the left and one on the right. Mm. They're armed with 556ers and pineapples. There should also be a duct on the second floor. When I got this game I as a kid, I was like, what do you mean pineapples? I don't see any I'll pineapples. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm I don't know. Snake. 
if the bandana is supposed to be freaking out like that? Was it like that on the GameCube? Well, I mean, this is the GameCube, you know what I mean. But, uh, yeah, I did own this game. I have completed it maybe three or four times. Two or, well, maybe two or three. But, yeah, I just, it's been a while. Here's the other famous line coming up. A surveillance camera! Oh, fuck. Is there somebody there? Follow the footsteps. Look at the, the camera. Guard camera. That almost sounded like the, um... The zombies from last night in Pavlov. Who's there? Uh oh, what is that? What did that what did that zoom in on? What the fuck is going on? Stealth. No, you're not. Oh, the guy woke up. Stun grenade. Thank God. Is there somebody there? Come on, get your fucking ass in here. Your ass in here. Oh. Oh. This is tough. Until I get the 5.7 or the uh, SOCOM with the silencer, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be kinda tough. Isn't it? Gotta get into that truck, and we can shoot. There's still, a uh, in hard mode, there's still the, uh, Trank gun, yeah? Huh? Who's there? Who's that? Whoa, that was really loud. What the fuck? Clear! Why is it so loud? Clear! Move. You alerted them all at once Clear. with the gun? That was awful. Move. And it was closer to the camera? Perhaps. Clear. Look at look at these cool guards. Knowing that I shot from inside the Clear. fucking vehicle and yet are still in looking around outside the vehicle. Move. Clear. They're not gonna come in here, are they? They wouldn't. They wouldn't. Move. Clear. Genetically enhanced soldiers. I've never seen anything like this, Colonel. Their IQ must be at least three digits. Maybe even a little bit more. 
All right, now that was just my fault. Are there any other items I missed out here? I forget. Even though I should know Shadow Moses like the back of my hand. must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. Air ducts. They must ducts need that a lot fly. Power to run the base. Wait, There's ducks already fly. There's a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that too. You're not going to believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hein D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That hind will be coming back soon. So there's no Trank in hard mode. Why would they, why would they take away the tranquilizer gun? There is? Oh, okay, never mind. It's just not here yet. Okay, some chat members were incorrect. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, have you tried the new Big here? Mac? I quit being a boot camp instructor, so I moved out here for some I love Master quiet. Miller. He's a good dude. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Yeah, I like, uh... I like that guy. I also like Wide Snake. Snake, you've got to think. Your mind is your most dangerous weapon. If things are getting too complicated, try to simplify your thoughts. You can also try calling Campbell for advice. But where's the silencer? Master Miller, is this the Nintendo tip line? Soldiers who have learned their trade in the heat of real combat know how to sleep whenever and wherever they can. There's a big difference between them and the kids who have only been exposed to VR simulation training. Whoa, that was me last After night. After playing for a long time, you should get some rest, too. I was in VR last night. We were shooting clowns. So weird. Anyway, Snake, thank you for calling in. I hope you like that I'm an American man. And uh, that'll be four ninety-five a minute for the advice. I moved the DARPA chief to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? Oh, they just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those <sighs> covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? <sighs> Did something happen? There's an intruder. <clears throat> really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah, and they say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase I mean, clearly I haven't used stealth chief. at all this entire playthrough.
Stealth. Who is Stealth? The orange. I want to get in there. Get some oranges. I can rhyme orange with door hinge. Which makes me the best rapper that's ever lived. Press the action button to drop down. Snakey! Wait, was there more? I think there was more up there. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Can I not go back up into the vent, chat? Oh, I can. I can. I just want to see if I, if I, uh, missed anything. I, I'm thinking, like, maybe there's a ration? No, there's nothing. I vented. Big, heavy footsteps. So this music feels a little bit more Metal Gear appropriate. Because it is. Just about. Ah. Spirits. Oh yeah, this is Metal Gear music. Well, kinda. Oh, you cock! I can't use my rations. I want my my goal was to not alert the camera. You know. Yeah, I really wish that uh, that camera didn't see me. Equip the rations to warm them up. This is no stealth challenge run, right? No, this is just get through the game in one piece run. See, they're, they're not frozen now. I guess I was in a freezer before. I mean, I guess I could use the uh, granat. But I could just do this instead. This doesn't hurt my eyes. Nope. 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 This doesn't fill your room with blue light. level one key. Is there somebody there? Nope. No one's 
here. I, I love the choke sound. No item drops. But at least we got rid of them. That helps. Dinty, why you no hold up? I forgot that you can do that, actually. I don't enjoy the killing. Snake, use the elevator to move from floor to floor. To call the elevator, press the button on the nearby control panel by pressing the action button. The elevator should show up in no time. So, you can um, ready your gun. Ooh. But then what? what is it? take to, uh, oh, you press Y, I remember that now, you press hold Y and that like, so if you ready your gun and you don't want to shoot, you can press the Y button and that'll, you know put it away, because in the PS2 it had pressure sensitive buttons and you could just lightly lower your finger off the trigger off the B button or whatever, and it would it would work that way too Look at the radar, it's picking up the DARPA chief He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Okie dokie. <laughs> the diaper chief. <laughs> Hello, sir. It's me, the diaper chief. I pooped myself today on my on my duty. Made duty on duty, you know what I mean? Hello, sir. SOCOM bullets. I think those regenerate. Well, I'm, I'm a, listen, I'm a funny streamer. So, okay, you press A to aim, press B, so hold B to run while you're aiming, and then if you want to stop, you have to press Y. Think about that. Interesting. The only other button left to hold was X. If you have baby hands, you cannot do this thing. What controller am I using? I'm using GameCube controller. I have the uh, adapter, the Wii U adapter. I'm using that. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Approach the ladder and press the action button to climb it. All right, Snake. Now I'm going to tell you how to use the ladder for the third time. Is this Johnny? Do we get to watch Johnny take a shit? Kind of damn cold. Oh no, he's gonna pee. I hate Alaska. Hot, boy, steaming oh pee. That woman is built all right. Nice hog. It, 
Um, chat, I think he was wearing gloves. He doesn't need to wash his gloves. Hog. It's me, Snake. Yeah, don't wash your gloves. Just let let them just change your gloves. Throw them out. A woman. Not him. A, a hog. Are you some kind of Who? acrobat? Who's that? I'm afraid of acrobats. Always have I'm been. Here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? It's a stealth sneaking I'm the suit. Pawn they sent in here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking the about? The poor DARPA chief in this game looks almost the like um, threatening the White House. a Troll they 2 say character. If they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. was just for the keeping of dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. That's the official story. Got it. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A truly historical weapon. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Battle tanks? I played that on the N64. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal nope. Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard that the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. I'd like to apologize to any of my Alaskan viewers. I know you're out there. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. At least two of them. Rex. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. You can hear that entire thing. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping nuclear weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? Convenient ventilation system. Wait, isn't Snake in some ridiculous pose? Whew. 
<laughs> Wait, that wasn't in the original, right? Like, he was just, like, ducked down someplace? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh. He was to the side down. of the door, and then he yes, becomes Spider-Man in this there version. It's set up so that you need to input oh, two different gosh. passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker, the president of Arms Tech? That's right. Titty Fart 69 is the second password. password. Or there can be no launch. But... If you want a more serious look at Metal Gear Solid, watch my old playthrough from two years ago. You talked? Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psycho Mantis? Psycho Mantis! Is one of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. Sinbad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed space. by Arms Tech, Snake's the system face. developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that... You'll be able to drive the yes. van outside. You can stop the launch. That card key... So where are the card keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him into an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as a transmission medium. As you salt, the door security salt devices, technology. They'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So, does the White House plan to give in to the terrorists' demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But, what about the Pentagon? <laughs> Pentagon? What is it? Meryl's like, What's that? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, what's going on what in there? <gasps> I didn't even say anything. I didn't even imply anything. I just, your imagination, chat. You filled in the blanks. Don't get upset with me. But, I mean, not a lot left to the imagination. After that shot. But, uh, yeah, rip diaper chief. I'm still not gonna spoil anything, you know, if people have never seen Metal Gear Solid, but I'm, I'm just gonna be enjoying the absurdity of the Twin Snakes. Um, because it is, it is a really... a little more over the top than we're used to. And Metal Gear Solid is a series known for being over the top.
Also, this is a remake done one generation apart. Naomi, the chief, what happened? I... I, I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No! Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not, Snake. You've got to understand. This counter-terrorist op is security level red. You'll need the highest security clearance to learn the real story. But I'm not you hiding anything from you. You're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Okay. I mean, it does look nice on Dolphin, especially. I, I have to say, like, it's not the most necessary remake. Maybe, like, another generation would have been nice, but it looks pretty good. What's a dolphin? It's a type of sea mammal. It's a fish. It's, um, it, it is... Uh, not a fish? Well, how come you can use Get a fishing through. hook to catch one? So you killed the chief, you bastard! It's a good thing they censored that ass. No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <gasps> oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Shoot me, rookie. Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. Your eyes wander. There's no confidence in them. The eyes of a rookie. You've never shot a person, have you? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. I You're wonder what corruptions would be like for this game these days with our Open new, more door. powerful corruption tech. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of Looks here. Like we'll be a little delayed. Uh. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. Two floating guns. God, I gotta get used to the fucking shooting again. Like, just the aiming and everything, you know? I'll get there, I'll get there. But this is really what makes the game, like, you know, easier is that you can- you can do this where the original you could not. You could just first person, headshot, aim. You had one pixel of health. I had rations equipped, chat. I would've- the rations would've, um... would've won. No? I was bleeding? Ration will use itself if it's- if it is equipped- equipped. Thanks for the help. 
But I've Wait. got a jet. Now, chat, this may seem gratuitous, but it, this is 100% relevant to the story. Who are you? I, I definitely said that last time. I mean, you could just check two years ago. Two years and three months. You fool! August 2018. I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. Interesting. The, the game spoils itself. It's fine. Why, though? That FAMAS had lots of bullets. That was more than 25 bullets, as far as I'm concerned. Good girl. Just like that. I just... I just saw a ghost! I'm scared, Colonel! Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Psychometric interference? Loop. So, that was Mantis. You're telling me that ghosts are real? I just wanted to see how close I could get before the, the sensor would go away. Again, you might have to corrupt it to get rid of it fully, but... Why am I gonna get banned? This is a first party, triple A game, right? And there's a sensor over it. In fact, you can go in the sensor and sensor everything that you see. It's not sexual content. Why is a human body sexual by nature? It's just, it's a, you know... You know, it's just, uh, it's, it's a, it's a dude who was... Um, who, who is naked. And, uh, that's it. He just got his clothing removed. M9 first. You have to imagine that the bathrooms in Alaska would be cold. Like, that piss was really hot looking. Like, do they not have proper heating in this facility? It was steaming. Chat, it was steaming.
use the context clues within the sentence. It was, it was steaming hot piss. I wouldn't want to work on this base is all I'm trying to say, chat. So where is the M9? In one of the rooms. Hmm. Tank hangar room. Remember, the M9 was not in original Metal Gear Solid. Instant death pits. No, oh, don't worry about those. Why are there instant death pits, though, here? Like, what weird, like, holdover of ancient gaming that a bottomless pit in this game would would be? I don't know what that sentence was, but you get the idea. I mean, sure, there, listen, I, I guess the facility is a little crusty. That's where all the piss goes, I guess, in, into the pit. make them, like, freeze. I, w I didn't want to kill him, I just wanted him to fucking, like, put his hands up. Does it have to be first person? Behind them, first person, hold them up. Now, now we have a suppressed SOCOM. First person only. There's dog tags in this, right? You're gonna extract him? <laughs> I like the tippy toes functionality. That's a word I should never say, but I said it anyway. But there is tippy-toes functionality in this game. When you're in first person, you can shimmy to the right, shimmy to the left, and you got pressure-sensitive tippy-toes. <laughs> well, how else am I supposed to say it? What, toe tips? That sounds like a barbecue food. At, like, some barbecue place in Austin, Texas or something. Tiptoe. You can tiptoe. Chat, look, you can tiptoe if you just first person and do this. Another thing you can do... ...is increase your grip, like in Metal Gear Solid 2. Another thing you can do is this. can break your neck. Snake! Snake! Snake!
so no, there's no, um, M9. There's some weird fucking camera angles, but no M9 so far. You have to blow up the northwest wall in the armory. You are a genius, chat member. A complete and utter genius. You looked up the guide. Hideous co-genius. No, I do appreciate that, though. Because I, I wouldn't have known. But there's some walls that are a little, like... Yeah, like this wall here is... That that wall's bullshit. Nope. Right, look at that. Even there was like a jape floor. I will say this game has nice looking explosions. There's the M9. See, now I can tranquilize instead of neutralize. That was almost bad. Almost walked right into that an unending pit. I know there were, um... M9 bullet somewhere around here. I think it was B1. I want to get a couple M9 bullet. We have to go into the piss room, and I'll save in the piss room. Snake, I need you to go to the bathroom right now. No. Just five more minutes. Snake, you're shitting yourself. No. I don't want to go. Not yet. Snake, it's me, your brother. I can smell you. Doesn't this actually happen in Metal Gear Solid 4 with Johnny? It does happen with Johnny Boy! I need some advice, Mei Ling. Tell me about philosophies. Mei Ling knows all the philosophies. It's still weird seeing 2021 on a save file. We're in the fucking future. Kinda sucks. Snake, remember what de Gaulle said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You're right. Wow. You know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? <laughs> well, both my parents are from Gongdong, China. 
But I was born and raised in America. See? I've born and raised in America. I've literature from both sides. Kind of keeps me in touch. I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. Anyway, here's an American quote. You're surrounded by bad guys and you must uh, fight them. Well, I'll think about it. Alright, Snake. Here's an American quote. Don't fall in the pit! I was gonna quote, like, Terminator, or like Rambo or something, but I, I couldn't think of anything off the top of my head, or... Here's one, um, here's a good quote. Come on! Kill me now! The most American quote I could think of is someone in a thick Austrian accent. Sir, I need you to kill me now! <laughs> Shame I can't just like walk around in first person mode. You know, just like... Just play the game like cyberpunk. And it defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Equifarms? I know, I have chaff, chaff grenades. I know. I don't have any more C4 though, so I can't open that particular wall. Again, this is not a feature in the original Metal Gear Solid 1, so having first person... You can just shoot the cameras, no problem. Came on here, no problem. That's been coming up a lot, hasn't it, lately? Came in here, no problem, from Star Fox. I don't know how this started, but now I can't stop saying it. It's a sign that you want to stream the game. I mean, no problem. Star Fox 3D stream. What, like 64 3D? That's okay. I mean, how is uh, 3DS emulation looking these days, lads? Not for that game. I have that game. I got it for free. Star Fox 64 3D on my other 3DS that I don't use for streaming, that I don't have modded for streaming. Which is a shame, too, because I do like the three- I mean, the controls are a little different, and people have their complaints about it, but it looks nice. Wouldn't mind, uh, checking it out. So yeah, there's no more C4. Uh, I don't know what to do. Usually these- I thought these, like... ...respawned. C4 
save and reload. Oh, oh no, they're here. There's plenty. Okay. The other stuff didn't respawn, but these did. I mean, you know, problems with this game are obvious, but I do like that it is Metal Gear Solid, you know, with GameCube graphics. It's kind of nice to see everything in Shadow Moses. That looks good, at least. Like, all the Shadow Moses stuff, I think, looks great for GameCube. Tech President Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. Oh! No! Don't, don't, don't touch it! C4! Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Touch that wire and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. Again, Metal Gear so Solid 2 Raiden was doing shit like this. Boss keeps talking about. So, I mean, I don't know. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver. <laughs> Didn't he use both hands? Ocelot. In the original? He... No, not yet. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. MGS3, my bad. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. Well, I have first person mode. This is the greatest <laughs> handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. I feel like he just Six wasted bullets. those bullets, though. More than enough to kill anything that moves. This is a SOCOM. It shoots bullets. Now I'll show more than you yours. They call me Revolver. Oh, oh! Draw! Hiding won't help you. A gun's power isn't in its muzzle velocity or its caliber. Most egregious example of gameplay breaking, right there. Hmm, you're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting good warmed. fight. Shot in the face four times. Nice, well done. Ah! 
what a disturbing scene. I like that it explodes, like, the, the blood. But, just think about that. Like, you have a hand, and then a second later, you don't. Ah, just a thought. Stealth camouflage. Someone said, why didn't it explode until he realized that it was gone? You even die right. Nano Machines is always the answer. You were lucky. We'll meet again. Vinny, why did you choose to play this Who instead of something like MGS 1 or 2? Because I've streamed every other MGS game, not this one. I didn't stream acid. Metal Gear Acid. That... that exoskeleton. Oh, Metal Gear 1 or 2. Oh, because I, I... I like this. This is silly. I like pizza better than this, but, you know... Apples and oranges. Is this a vibro blade? Otherwise, I mean, I don't know how it cuts through uh, concrete. Oh, cool. Okay. Yep. Yep. Oh, man, I love it. Do more wacky shit. More like, why the hell? Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. I hid cigarettes what up my ass. Comment? Do I look like I'm There's from the no Pentagon? I, I talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Uh, kind of like psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Mm. Yeah. Anyway, how did they get your code? I... I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> uh, it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. I just saw a, like, a single frame subliminal image. He's I don't know what human. it was. Can anyone isolate I that? I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Mm, looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. 
Uh, you're a funny guy. So, the... the DARPA chief? Is he okay? Is DARPA... DARPA okay? Dead. What? It, it can't be. No, that's not what you promised, Jim! Now you want to shut me up! Ah. Calm down. What's wrong Why with that you? Why that sound? I just told you I was here to save you. I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Oh, those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. A war on pugs. Do you still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists. Uh, no, that, that, that woman. Woman? Who? This a was the frame, was by the way. In prison along with me. Prison? That I don't know what soldier. that is. She said that she had just joined up as a new recruit. They, they threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the colonel's name? I don't know if it was ass or abs. I gave her the key. Oh, looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. L let me tell you, it's... it's... Huh? <laughs> oh... That sorry. camera zoom represents forgetfulness. I forgot. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Snake, oh, that's what right. the fuck, dude? It should be on the back of the package. Try to contact her. <laughs> Gonna need that in, in a gift. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? Uh, the, the team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A uh, genius in engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? Well, you'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's, it's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The nuclear threat hasn't disappeared. The threat is more real than ever before. The amount of spent nuclear fuel oh, here we go. and Here's the stock is footage again. increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. It's full of muff. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to use it or dispose of it. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? 
It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with nowhere to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age where any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? The Russians and Chinese still pursue a policy of deterrence. Do you see? Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear? Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the U.S. Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even that bunch on the Military Oversight Committee. So tell me more about how people go diving from Muff. Bribes. Just call it the Military Industrial Complex. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you or your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here. This is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. Can't you just send it I to my cell that phone? Sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure that you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card, too. It'll open up all security level two doors. I like the real footage stuff in Teamwork. 1998, when the, for, the game actually came out, you know, for the first time. No. You go on without me. Ugh. Something we, we haven't really password. seen in games before. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. Oh, that... Uh, that ninja? That's just Ed. That was Foxhound's dark little secret. He pretends to be a dark ninja. Dark little secret? An experimental... genome... soldier. <laughs> you know him? <laughs> you Chat is making ask vape Dr. jokes. Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Huh? Oh, 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 what? What did you do to me? Uh, oh, no! No, it can't be those Pentagon bastards. So they, they, they actually went and did it. What are you talking about? It sounds meaty. They, 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 they're just using you for... for uh, 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 uh. What the hell? Man. Colonel, 
Are you listening? Now he's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or digoxin. But we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn. Naomi is truthful. Always. I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. The hell is that supposed to Nate, mean? There's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes. We have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, <laughs> I'm counting on you. I haven't touched the controller in quite a while. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. That was a lot. But as I was saying before, I liked the real footage of the nuke stuff because it helped scare the shit out of me, A, and then it grounded the game in reality. And it was good. Again, it may seem like common practice now, or at least, you know, like maybe there's nothing too special about it, but. But it's, um, it was cool when the game first came out. How do I make him jiggle? Chad, I want him to jiggle. Don't kill me. I have to get this one before he discovers his friend's body. Probably could get more items out of these lads. Yeah. Ah! Oh! What? Chat, we need it's fine, he's just going into the piss river. No sign of the AWOL man. Everything seems normal. Everything's normal. Everyone that we sent down here is missing. They must have abandoned and went someplace else in Alaska. You know, even though this is an island someplace. Oh, there's even a, an actual cutscene for that chat. It's stylistically bold and designed to be that way. Well. We've got 
lasers in here, chat. Here, I know your eyes are fucking hurting. So I'm just gonna smoke cigarettes. What kind of cigarettes are these that snake, uh, aside from ass cigarettes, that take away your health that quickly? My god. But now I have the FAMAS. Oh, right, you can't hold the button on that one. You just have to shoot. So, chat, you know how I said something weirdly out of context earlier about piss? And chat was upset about this and then they laughed? And then, when the dude was talking about Muff, everyone else was laughing. Well, earlier, I was watching a video from some random dude. I just googled how to replace the pickups on a Gibson Les Paul guitar. And I'm watching this really boring video that I actually kind of fell asleep during, but... I, like, stopped paying attention, and then I'm watching, I'm like, oh, this, I, this is not something I want to learn how to do. But as I'm watching, the dude said something really bizarre. And he said this, listen. Maybe I ought to do a video about this at some other time. But it involves getting the towel here and jerking it. And it jerks the knob off. So that is one of those things that, like, I'm sorry, but there's no way you can recover from that. You have to make a joke. Like, if it were me, I would have cut to a scene of me looking at the camera. Like, even if I'm making a serious, informative thing, I would have had to just have a scene of me looking at the camera. Just for a second, and being just like, and then maybe shaking my head. But it involves getting the towel here and jerking it, and it jerks the knob off. I, I hadn't heard of that one until a guy was in here who, actually a well-known guitar player that had a... a like, did he know? Did he know what he had said? What he had wrought upon this world? I mean, the sentence was correct. It's just, you know... Damn. You knew? Sounds like he realized it as he was saying it. Yeah, he kind of stumbles over his words a little bit, and then, like, he kind of laughs a little too, so maybe? Americans don't typically refer to penises as knobs, though. Yeah, but, I mean, it, it also... Like, that's one of those things that I feel like people know about. It's not as well known as in, you know, Britain, across the pond, but it's known, you know? Like Carl. Carl, Carl could eat a knob at night. All right, so then you use this rag to wank the knob off. If he had said that, then it would have been even funnier, really, but... But no, instead we just have mild funnies. wonder, like, how long do they stay asleep for? Depends on the difficulty. He was about to fall asleep anyway, I just expedited the process. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Also, there is some weird, it's not cyberpunk glitchy, but there's some weird glitchy shit that happens with their bodies from time to time. You can do some interesting stuff with the body physics, if I remember correctly.
kind of. all it is. It's all in your imagination. Notice how hard the game was before I got a gun. And now it's hard. God damn it. Encountered the enemy requesting backup. I mean, I had to make a decision. Do I use a ration? Um, I'm. Uh, this is. Kind of foolhardy. I just wanted to get in here, chat. Mind D. You can, you can aim the FAMAS without shooting. Chat member was correct. It's really- you have to claw the controller a little bit. It's not very intuitive, truthfully. that ration. Kill me! Game is easy, I said, just before this happened. Green bullets? Is that normal? Snake. What happened? Snake! Tra green tracer rounds? I don't know anything about. Green tracer. I don't know anything about anything, but I'm just saying I didn't know there were green tracer rounds. Freeze. <gasps> Help. I thought that was like a, a special type of bullet, like in the video games where they have, like, bullet coatings. Like, slag damage or something. I'm gonna go back and get that mine detector. Can't you shoot their, um, exclamation marks, too? Something happens. I don't remember what happens, but something does.
Oh, right, you can shoot the radio as well. Forgot about that. Um, but yeah, I don't know, maybe we'll have time to do the tank things. Radio. Where's the radio? Is it? No. Who's that? No, and that wasn't the radio. That was me shooting a man in the head. That's the ra- That's the radio. how to do the- like, I need a level 5 card for the tank? Have I forgotten something, chat? Oh, I have to call, um, Meryl, I think. Yes. The DARPA Chief and President Baker. So now the terrorists know both detonation codes. Yeah, and on top of that, they both died right in front of my eyes. Snake. Now that the terrorists have both detonation codes, the only way to stop a nuclear launch is to either use the detonation code release keys that Merrill's holding, or... Or, find the Metal Gear chief engineer that President Baker mentioned, Hal Emmerich. In any case, you should contact Merrill by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the package? Just go ahead and say that it was the game box. In any case, you should contact- This took me a very long time to figure out when I was a kid. In any- But essentially, yeah, it's- it's what he's referring to is, for those that don't know. You have to check the jewel case. That, you know, the game was in. And it's also on the back of the Twin Snakes box, which I don't feel like getting up and getting, but- Are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? Hmm. I'm the fool that your uncle sent to this hellhole. You came alone? Trying to be some kind of hero? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people called me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? <laughs> uh, sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. Why, Meryl? You were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. Everyone's wide. They're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader? Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal, then? Why are you both named Snake? Maybe I'll ask him personally. But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I just joined the training that same day. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapon disposal facility. Boy, oh boy. It's just like them. Nobody's told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. Dummy? This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because... 
They're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But they must have been test firing dummy warheads for a while. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a he final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. That's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep them hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Don't, no, anyway, don't say that, Baker, please! Huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No. Not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Huh. Sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah. That's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So, they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we'd better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take Lots that of explosions. yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. <laughs> how do we get to the nuclear warhead storage where the doctor's being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go to the- I'm going with you! No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green! Oh, yes you are. You You're like the Grinch. Just one second in front of your enemy, and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. It was frightening to think that. Yeah, well, I shoot the clowns in VR. Take someone's life. It's not like shooting targets in training. I always dreamed of being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now. So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, you're not normal if you don't feel something the first time you kill. Killing without guilt produces more carnage. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, <laughs> worst traits emerge. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't this a This is war. the Metal Gear it's stuff that we're here action. for. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about Combat High at the Academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you, the real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Hang on to the key until then. Got ya. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Meryl, do you think it's possible for love to bloom? Where, Snake, on the battlefield? In... In the pantry? I mean, anywhere, I don't know. Is love real, Meryl? Chat, am I supposed to just wait for the door to open? <laughs> I forget. We 
have a man down. Increase to maximum security. Send a replacement guard for the area. Must, must have been a mosquito. See how good my aim is. Certainly sound like bullets hitting a wall. Probably nothing. Ah, must have been the wind. Okay, okay, I've, I've clearly messed around a little too much over here. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. I needed those... Can't stop doing the shitty stank voice. I got. I can't. I can't help. Does the elevator not work? I can't leave. Something over there. God damn it. Why aren't you using the box? I do I have the box yet? Oh yeah, I guess I do. What nope, just the box! Just the box! I've got him. Set I thought it was called Muff, not Moof. I, I guess I have to do the Meryl Codec call again. <laughs> I could skip through it. It's not a problem. It's easy. I, it's okay. I'm probably gonna stop here and wait for the, um... Wait for next time... ...to do the tank... ...leave the room and come back after the call. Oh, is that what has to happen? Wait, do I not have the Mind D anymore, either? For fuck's sake. Chat, I have to get the Mind D again. I'll do that, and then I'll just save. And then I'll... First time. <gasps> There's a gun in your face. Help. <sighs> so, the first person button is the Z button on the GameCube controller. Remember the Z button? How cool and cheap that button was? So if I randomly exit first person mode, and you're like, why is this so jittery to look at? It's because the Z button is a fun button that was designed really well. I love the GameCube controller, but this is seriously... Like, 
one of the main reasons why it's hard to play, like, a lot of the, the third-party shit that was on the GameCube. Like, the GameCube controller works really well for certain games, and others not, like, not as well. Like, first-person shooters with the little C-stick nipple was not, it wasn't great. It was doable, but it wasn't, it wasn't great. Fighting games, um, well, Smash worked well. I mean, you know, people argue, like, dude, that's not, you don't fight in that game, you just party. Freeze. <laughs> Which is fair enough. I'd say it's, it's a little bit of fighting, a little bit of party, it's a little bit of its own thing. Fair. However, the GameCube controller is perfectly suited to that game. Which is why I'm using one right now. I have the Smash Brothers, um, controller, and the Wii U adapter. And it works, it works really well on, um, on the thing, on, on the things. Perfect for Metroid Prime as well. Yeah, but I kind of feel like Metroid Prime would be even better with a good dual analog control scheme. Like, one of the things that sucks about Metroid Prime is that you want to aim up, you have to hold the R button. You know, and then the strafing, you have to hold the L button, or like the, you know, the aim like, the, the lock-on. It's not bad. I love Metroid Prime. One of my favorite games of all time. I'm just wondering what that would be like with dual analog. Perhaps unnecessary, but I would love to, I would love to see what it's like. Also, I played Metroid Prime on um, mouse and keyboard, and it's fucking good. Just saying. What's up, Snake? Prime Trilogy on Wii. Yeah, and you can do mouse and keyboard, too. Vinny, RE4 would be better with dual analog. Nope. Incorrect. I disagree with that. I know what you like you were doing there, but that they actually removed strafing from that game on purpose because they thought it would take it too far away from Resident Evil's vibes. Um, I don't think... Resident Evil 4 is designed very deliberately around that control scheme. And I know Metroid Prime, you could say the same, but I, I guess on some level, the only flaw for that game for me is sometimes I want to aim up and down, and I have to stand still, and it's not quite as stationary as Resident Evil 4 is supposed to be. So anyway, the point is I like the GameCube controller, but the Z button sucks dick. That's where all this came from. We're going to take a quick break, everybody. Snake, like Shakespeare said, Knots had all spent, where our desire is got without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. That goes for items, too. Don't get too greedy or you might be sorry. Be careful, Snake. Thunk. Everybody, thank you for watching. This is a fun playthrough for me because it is so silly. I mean, it's still Metal Gear Solid, and it's still good, and it has all the story beats, and the characters, and the same script, more or less. So, in that sense, it's quite good. The cutscenes are either pretty good, or completely over-the-top insane. But the visuals are nice, the music is mostly a miss for me. Uh, but truthfully, I wanted to do this... I said this a couple years ago. I said, one day I will stream Twin Snakes. That was two years ago. And now is that day. I was in the mood. I was feeling a Metal Gear game. And this is the only one I really haven't streamed that is 3D that I've played. Granted, I haven't played Metal Gear 1 or 2. Um, those might be a little more difficult for me to go back to. And I didn't play the Metal Gear Game Boy game, which is also actually pretty good. Um, part of me wishes that Silicon Knights made their own alternate reality Metal Gear game, like the Game Boy one. Because that one, Game Boy Color one, it really is its own story that has nothing to do with the rest. It's like a side mission for Snake. And it's cool. It's really well done for what it is. Maybe if Silicon Knights had done that with this game, and designed a game... I mean, development time would have been a lot longer. But if they did their own Metal Gear thing, I think it might have ended up better, in my opinion. Uh, but anyway, everybody, we're going to take a quick break. Thank you for watching. I'm going to stream more Body Harvest because that game ended up 
being pretty good. I'm still not sure if it's going to be a full stream, but I like it. More Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes next week. And, uh... Quick break. Body Harvest up next. is Melancholy Music from Final Fantasy VI from that day on from TPR World TPR of Ruin I guess yeah that's where you can find it it's good it's a nice little remix they did a lot of Final Fantasy VI music more like that but a uh, great great soundtrack I miss Final Fantasy VI already Vinny, here's the clip of Odo turning into the funny cloud. Okay, here's the thing. This is from a very late episode of, of Deep Space. He does turn into a funny cloud. Joel was right. Um, that said, I'm not going to show it because I don't... I, I haven't gotten to this episode yet. I mean, I've seen it years ago. But essentially, it is um, a bit of a Deep Space Nine spoiler that I don't want to reveal if you're watching the show. Because many of you are watching it now for the first time, as I've been told. It is true. Odo turns into a funny cloud. True. Maybe not as funny as you think, but pretty funny. Like, still pretty funny. <laughs> 